Hello students today i am going to discuss about design of transmission shaft so let's start with the introduction of shaft shaft is uh, basically a rotating machine element of circular cross section which uh, generally used to support transmission elements like uh, gears pulleys etc here you can see in this diagram uh, basically shaft is always have maximum diameter at the middle portion as you can see in this diagram and uh, minimum diameter at both its end here minimum diameter at both its end this is the diagram of uh, transmission shaft uh, there are a lot of examples of uh, transmission shaft like uh, axle spindles uh, counter shafts line shafts etc i will discuss about these uh, one by one basically xl is used for supporting rotating elements like uh, wheels drums hoist and also fitting to the housing by means of different bearings and it also transmit torque uh, the example of xl we can say the example of xl is uh, automobile rear axle a uh, spindle is uh, basically it is a small rotating shaft with twisted threads and it is generally used in all machine tools uh, like drilling machines or uh, drive shaft of lathe counter shaft is generally driven by main shaft and it is uh, generally used to transfer the power to different machine element and it is generally used in multi stage gearbox line shaft a uh, line shaft can generally consist number of shaft which are connected in axial direction with the help of couplings but uh, this time the line shaft is obsolete if we are designing a transmission shaft the most necessary thing which we, gen we which we have to consider uh, during the design of transmission shaft is the material uh, the material which generally used to manufacturing the transmission shaft is based on the application uh, for example the ordinary shaft if we are uh, uh, designing ordinary shaft so for manufacturing uh, of ordinary shaft uh, the material which generally used is medium carbon steel and where the greater strength is required uh, the material that is high carbon steel or alloy steel is generally used why because alloy steel have greater strength hardness toughness and higher resistance of corrosion compared to plain carbon steel if we are considering commercial shaft then commercial shaft are generally made of low carbon steel and the processes which generally used to produce the shaft are uh, hot rolling and it is finished by turning grinding or cold drawing turning or grinding is generally preferred over cold drawing why because the tolerances of diameter and the straightness are closed in turning and grinding process compared to cold drawing and cold drawing also produce residual stresses at and near the surface of the shaft generally most of the transmission shaft are subjected to combined bending and torsional movement so if we are designing any transmission shaft the thing which we have to determine that necessary thing is the correct shaft diameter that is correct shaft diameter and this correct shaft diameter on the basis of strength and rigidity consideration on the basis of strength and rigidity we have to determine the uh, correct shaft diameter on the basis of strength and rigidity consideration so if the shaft is subjected to axial tensile force if the shaft is subjected to axial tensile force then the tensile stress will be tensile 
stress we are denoting this tensile stress by sigma t then it will be p is the force and divided by pi d to the power of 2 pi 4 this is the tensile stress now when the shaft is subjected to bending moment when shaft is subjected to bending moment in that case the bending stress or if we are uh, denoting this stress by sigma b in that case this is equivalent to m b y divided by i this is equivalent to m b y is the d by 2 and i is pi d to the power 4 divided by 64 or we can say this sigma b is equal to 32 m b by pi d q and when the shaft is subjected to pure torsional moment in that case the torsional stress the torsional stress if we are denoting this by tau in that case it is equal to mt r by j so this is equivalent to mt r is d by 2 divided by pi d to the power of 4 by 32 so this tau is equal to 16 mt divided by pi d q this is equal to tau or torsional stress when the shaft is subjected uh, by combination of loads uh, in that condition uh, the shear stresses and the principal stresses are generally obtained by constructing Mohr circle see here you can see if we are considering the combination of loads on the shaft this is the condition where we are considering the shaft is subjected by sigma x normal stress and the tangential stress tau this is the condition so for finding out the shear stress and the principal stress what we have to do we have to construct a Mohr circle for this particular condition if we are considering this condition then we have to draw the Mohr circle to find out the principal stress sigma 1 and the uh, um, maximum shear stress so uh, we can find out here the shear stress and the principal stress with the help of or by constructing Mohr circle. If we are designing shaft or the transmission shaft we have to consider different condition over here. Uh, I will discuss here one by one the, uh, the different uh, loading condition on shaft. The first condition is uh, when the shaft is subjected by combination of axial force bending moment and uh, the torsional moment here if we are considering when the shaft is subjected to combination of axial force with axial force with bending moment and torsional moment in that condition the normal stress or the sigma x will be equal to sigma b the bending stress and the sigma t is torsional stress so this is the condition when the shaft is subjected to combination of axial force and uh, bending moment and torsional moment. And the second condition is when the shaft is subjected to bending, when the shaft is subjected to 
bending and torsional stress without axial force in that condition sigma x equal to sigma b and the principal stress the principal stress sigma 1 is equal to sigma x by 2 plus under root of sigma x by 2 whole square plus tau square this is the principal stress from the mohr circle and the principal shear stress principal shear stress tau max equal to under root of sigma x by 2 whole square plus tau square this is the principal stress and the principal shear stress shaft is generally designed on the basis of maximum principal stress theory and maximum shear stress theory uh, we will apply here these theories for designing a transmission shaft which is subjected by bending and torsional moment uh basically the maximum uh, if we are considering uh, the sigma 1 if we are considering here the sigma 1 is the maximum principal stress here sigma 1 is the maximum principal stress and the shaft is subjected to bending and torsional moment without any axial force see if the shaft is subjected to bending and torsional moment shaft is subjected to bending and torsional moment without any axial force in that condition i already told you the sigma b is equal to sigma x that is equal to 32 mb by pi d q and to here it is 64 mt divided by pi d q so the sigma 1 as per the mohr circle sigma 1 is equal to we can write here as 16 by pi dq it is mb plus under root of mb square plus mt square and this is the equation by which we can determine the shaft diameter Uh, on the basis of maximum principal stress theory so we can say this is the on the basis of maximum principal stress theory we can determine the diameter d on the basis of this equation we can determine the diameter d and on the basis of maximum shear stress and on the basis of maximum shear stress theory the tau max will be the tau max will be 16 by pi d q under root of mb 
square plus m t square. This is the equation for the maximum shear. And here, this equation, the term m b square plus m t square, this is called equivalent torsional moment. Equivalent torsional moment. And the term m b plus under root of m b square plus m t square that is equivalent to equivalent bending moment. Equivalent bending moment. And uh, here uh, generally shaft are generally made up of ductile material uh, so maximum shear stress theory is generally applicable for ductile material compared to principal stress theory stress so this equation is also used to determine the shaft diameter on the basis of maximum shear stress theory this equation the transmission shaft is also designed on the basis of torsional rigidity See, uh, if the shaft does not <coughs> twist beyond the limit under the action of external torque or it does not deflect too much under the action of external bending moment, uh, that, that type of shaft we can say as the rigid shaft. Like uh, for example, uh, the spindle for machine tool is generally designed on the basis of this uh, theory the theory of torsional rigidity and here the angle of twist for this particular condition <coughs> the angle of twist for this condition if we are denoting this as theta this is equal to 584 mt l <coughs> divided by g d to the power of 4 here mt is the torsional moment torsional moment it is newton newton mm <clears throat> l is the length of the shaft length of the shaft subjected to twisting moment G is the modulus of rigidity. And D is the <coughs> shaft diameter. D is the shaft diameter. <coughs> For machine tools, generally the value of theta is point to 5 degree per meter length per meter length is permissible and uh, for a line shaft generally <coughs> this is for machine tool this is for machine tools and for line shaft the value of theta is 3 degree per meter length this is for line shaft <clears throat> and thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures